book friends, today's episode of Biblio Happy Hour is brought to you by Bibliofinder, a new online directory for independent bookstores. Bibliofinder allows users to find bookstores worldwide based on your current or planned location. book friends welcome to biblio happy hour a podcast about bookstores and everything bookish i'm your host victoria wood in today's show we'll be talking to brocca fabian and she is from the river dog book company located in beaver dam wisconsin if you love the show and what we're doing over on biblio finder and you want to help us support local independent bookstores visit our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash bibliofinder. Patreon allows listeners like you to support the show as well as our online directory for independent bookstores. You'll also get perks for joining, such as access to our full podcast episodes, behind the scenes content, an opportunity to send in questions, get discount codes, shout outs, plus more. That's patreon.com forward slash bibliofinder. We'll also leave a link in the show details. Before we get started with today's episode, wherever you're listening, please don't forget to share, subscribe to our podcast, and leave us a rating and review. Alrighty guys, let's talk with our guest. Brocka, thank you so much for coming on the show and welcome to Biblio Happy Hour. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. We're so happy to have you here. So before we get started, really quick, are you a coffee or a tea person? (laughs) Well, I'm normally a tea person and my partner likes to say that what I drink in terms of coffee isn't coffee because there's too much chocolate and sugar in it. So (laughs) I guess the answer is really just tea. (laughs) No. Well, I guess what, you know what, that sounds just like me because I never have coffee just straight. I want flavor (laughs) in it. I want, you know, milk vanilla cinnamon all sorts whatever flavor i can get i'll take it (laughs) anything that makes it taste not actually like coffee exactly (laughs) so tell us about the river dog book company um tell us about where you're located where you work out of and share a bit about your hometown absolutely so first and foremost i have to say beaver dam wisconsin is a lovely place but it's not my hometown okay Um, i actually grew up traveling around the world and around the country And I came to Beaver Dam because the mayor put out a call for an independent bookstore to come to town. And so when I um, I did a little research and when I got here, I realized that there wasn't another indie store within an hour drive of this little corridor of South Central, Southeastern Wisconsin. Mm. And so what I've done is to create a location independent, independent bookstore, which means that I basically operate out of my house. Right now I do pop-up books bookstores and other people's businesses. Um, and I have some boutique shops within other people's businesses. And I'm working on putting a bookmobile together. And the, a lot of my programming is virtual. It's online. It's on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, because I have friends all over the world. And there are readers all over the world. Um, and so I do a lot of work with global and diverse literature. And then my goal is to be able to bring literature to this, you know, entire section of Wisconsin that doesn't have access to a local bookstore. Wow, that sounds amazing. So essentially, the mayor said, hey, we need a bookstore and you found a way to sort of make it work, you know, maybe not a conventional way for most people, but you're making those baby (laughs) steps. Yes, you're making those baby (laughs) steps to making it happen. Exactly. It's just the reality is it's so expensive to open a bookstore. It's expensive to open any business, but say a consignment shop that doesn't own their own inventory, that's different than a bookstore, which what most people don't realize is that we purchase our books when they're on our shelves. Before you purchase them, we've already spent money on them. And so that's what's so different about the book buying dynamic in a physical store. And so to kind of disrupt that idea, oh, I'm just going to sit here with all of my books and hope that someone comes in. My thought was, well, 
the, the place here wants books. Let me bring it to them. <laughs> exactly. I love that idea. And to be quite honest, it's, it's quite a disruptive kind of way of bringing a bookstore into an area. It's just not conventional, but for some reason it's working for you. A hundred percent. We've been open a year and everyone's just loving the idea of having access to books um, in that non-traditional way, uh, but still being in their backyard to an extent. And that means that I can, you know, drive up north several hours and go to tribal lands that have no bookstore near them. Them. Or I can, you know, partner with festivals, or I can go to schools and bring books right on site. Or, you know, if there's a kayaking festival in town, then I can drive up with my books and have books on kayaking and hiking and and you know, water craft usage. And I always say there might not you might not consider yourself a reader, but everything that you do in life is in a book somewhere. So let me find the right book for you. I love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so not only are you bringing them the books, but you're also providing on the spot, uh, tailored recommendations almost. Yes. yes. I've been in the industry 13 years and was a reader for many, many years before that. And so it's sort of the perfect way to take all of my interests um, and put them into one place. Okay. Okay. I'm curious now, 13 years in the industry, uh, where, mm -hmm. where were you working or what were you doing previously? before starting River Dog Book Company. <laughs> How long do we have? <laughs> oh, we have time. <laughs> the short answer is I worked for one corporate bookstore, okay. one museum library, uh -huh. four independent bookstores, one corporate publishing company, one independent nonprofit publishing company, and I have an MFA in writing, and I've been a book reviewer. And so... <laughs> you were made for this. <laughs> and out understanding of the industry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds like you were that bookseller in the making. So uh, <laughs> would you say, you know, all this experience, you know, again, working corporate, independent, mm -hmm. publishing, just, you know, just a wide cross-section of the industry would you say that kind of helped you to formulate the idea for River Dog Book Company? 100% yes. Um, I don't think that I would be able to do what I'm doing right now if I didn't have the experience and not even the context but just know where to go to find the information and it's one of the reasons i try actually so hard to connect with other people in the industry um people just starting their bookstores even if they just had an idea and have never worked in books before i want them to have that same access and know where to go to find those answers like i don't think i could be doing it the same way if i didn't know right 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 well, yeah, it sounds again, you know, you were definitely a bookseller in the making one way or another, <laughs> you were going to get there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All righty. So when you decided that you were going to uh, start this business again, it sounds like you were a bookseller in the making. But when you actually decided uh, to do it, what was the reaction from your friends and family and people in the town? <laughs> um, I think the town was probably the most surprised um, because they hadn't had a bookstore here for for several years and um so even though they wanted one i think they were surprised by the idea they didn't really understand why i would just come in and pick a storefront and open up um whereas all my friends and family said oh that makes total sense you want to do a bookmobile and, and travel around your state and the country and maybe the world in a few years absolutely <laughs> <laughs> um so what's been nice is to actually start to talk with people in the community and it's, it's just all about education and to, you yes. know, speak with them about, okay, well, even if there are empty storefronts, they're not ready for a business and here's why. Or even if I wanted to get a traditional bank loan, this is why that doesn't work for bookstores or, you know, right. that whole thing about I need to buy my books before they're on the shelf. So we need to make sure we have customers that are going to buy them before I invest and a hundred thousand dollars worth of books to sit there without anyone buying them. Absolutely. And so there have been so many great conversations here in the community about how I can serve the community without a physical brick and mortar space. And then from my friends and family, it's been wonderful um, for them to be supportive all along, you know, whether it's my parents are wearing books um, for me online or shooting me a text or <laughs> friends saying, oh, can you recommend this? Or um, getting involved in network in a way I hadn't been involved in them before. So um, I went to Mount Holyoke College. It's a Seven Sisters school. Yeah. And I'm getting really involved in the Seven Sisters Alumni Association and, and highlighting books written by other Seven Sisters authors. Or um, I do a ton of outdoor recreation work. My partner um, has a PhD in the recreation field. So we often talk about how to um, connect books with outdoor recreation, whether it's ah. featuring, you know, climbers who've written books or doing like a hike and, and um, read book 
talk kind of an event or, you know, that kayaking event I mentioned, kayak out to an island and have, you know, a couple hours reading a book there and kayak back. Um, there are just so many ways to be alternative when yes. you're thinking about how to relate books to the world. And so it's allowed me to do that. Hey guys, listen to the full podcast episode over on our Patreon page. So Patreon allows listeners like you to support the show as well as our online directory for independent bookstores. You'll also get additional perks for joining, such as discount codes for some awesome products and services. You'll be able to share your input and submit questions for the show, get behind the scenes content, weekly business updates, shout outs, plus lots more. That's patreon.com com forward slash bibliofinder. I'm really looking forward to talking with you there.